And one of the adventures that I remember having in Australia, which, which uh, it would if I was on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, you know, with uh, have you ever seen Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Where you, where you answer a, a question and Regis Philbin always wants to know, well, how'd you get that answer? And one of the questions was, how many miles does the sun's rays have to travel to reach the Earth? And I knew that one because. One of the things I did in, in Australia was, uh, with my boss, we bought a, an airplane sight unseen that had crashed in the Simpson Desert, and we rebuilt it. We flew it out like a flight of the Phoenix. And one of the, one of the things that was really important to know whether we could fly it out or not is if the crankshaft or the engine was bent. And the way we would do that is my boss, who was a really good mechanic, was going to do a, a run-out check with a dial indicator to see if it was bent. So. This is how I knew that answer about how many miles the sun's rays have to travel to reach the Earth. He's, he's doing the dial out, run out check on the engine, and I'm standing over him like this, you know, watching. I mean, this is really important. And without looking up, he goes, You know, the sun's rays have to travel 93 million miles, and there's always some bastard to block the last three feet. LAUGHTER 